In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can install third-party Dash 3D content inside Dash Studios. But first of all, we want to open up our folders. And we want to go to our PC. If you're on a PC, we're going to go to Windows. We're going to go to Dash 3D. Applications. We're going to go to Data. Dash 3D, my library, oh, my Dash 3D library, and this is what we want. Now, you want to remember this list, screenshot it if you have to. This is what you want. This is where we're going to drag and drop our third party content for it to work with Dash 3D. Now, let me move that out the way. Now, I'm going to be using the Gamorian, which was the Warthog. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go inside this folder. Now, when you see your runtime figures and data, all you want to do is grab all of those, right? And then you just want to drop them inside here. Now, I'm not going to drop it inside here because I don't want to double it because I already did it. But you, this is where you want to drop all three of these, right? Once you drop those inside here, then what you can do is you'll be able to close this out now. We can keep this open. We'll go to like our figures, Star Wars, or Gamorrean. Open this up too, so you can kind of see it. Now, when I double click on Gamorrean, he's in the scene. Now, he also come with weapons, as you can see. So let's click on his weapons. So you have an X1 and you have an X2. They also have pictures so you can kind of see what his weapons look like. This is one of his axes and this is the other one. And let's actually bring those inside as well. So I'm just going to double click here. And I'm going to double click on this one. Now, if we open this up. We can see we have our Gamorrean inside, and these are also his weapons. We can put one in each hand. Just line it up. There's this other one right here. You know. Now, once you have your Gamorrean inside, right? You, when you want to save it, right? Now, I already saved him, but um, I'll do it again. You just, what you really want to do is make sure he's highlighted, which he is. Let's actually highlight his weapons as well. And then you just click over here where it says plus. Now, you can, you can um, if you just want to do the character by itself, you can go to the character. You can save just the poses. This is where you can save different things. Like if it's even if it's a set, you can save sets. But if you just want to save me, what I like to use is the scene subset. Um, this allows you to save everything in the scene. So I'm going to save all this together. So I'm just going to go to scene subset. And I'm going to name it. Let me just name it three. You can name it whatever, but I'm just going to name it three. Because I'm going to probably delete it later because I already have it. And um, accept. Now, after that, I'll delete him out the scene. And we'll find him again where I got him at. I got him up here. Double click that number three. And we can move this out the way. Open this up. And there you go. And that's how easy it is. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, comment, like, and subscribe. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.